Hey everyone, it's Deidre Penrose, and we are in day three of our five day sneak peek what is Beachbody coaching with Forever Fit? And today we want to focus on social media. So, one way that we grow our business is by communicating with people other than our friends and family that we are surrounded by all the time. Now, of course, those are the first people we talk to. But what happens after that? If you are here and you want to potentially grow a business one day or help other people outside of the people that you talk to every day, I want to tell you how we have went outside of our comfort zone and started talking to people that we do not know, but especially how we did it because there are tons of people who start not having a Facebook page or um, not having many friends on their social media. So think about what other social media outlets you use. Do you use Facebook? Do you use Instagram? Do you use Twitter or Pinterest, YouTube? Or do you have a blog? And it doesn't matter what social media you use, there is potential for finding tons of people to help everywhere in the US and Canada, which is what we deal with because we are not international quite yet, but there are tons of people everywhere who want your help. So that is what we do. We grow our social media networks. So for me, I did have a good bit of friends on Facebook, but I didn't have any other social media outlets. So it was my job to find those so I can communicate with people outside of Facebook because a lot of people are going away from Facebook and onto other social medias. So I ended up starting an Instagram and a blog. And when I created, the, created those accounts, I was very consistent when I would post. So with my Instagram, I was posting two and three times a day. And one of the biggest things is when you have accounts like that, as a coach, when you're trying to reach out to people to help, it's important to make them public. That way people can actually see what you're doing. If you don't make them public, it's gonna be hard to reach out to new people because they can't see your stuff and they don't know what you're doing in the first place. But when you do make it public, when you do your posts, for instance, on Instagram, when you're doing a hashtag, which is that number sign and then the word, when people are on Instagram and they're searching for words and they're searching for that word that you just hashtagged, they'll find your content. And it may be content that they like, that you're sharing your journey, and they, want, they may want more information so they may follow you and they may reach out to you and message you wanting your help. So that's exactly what we do. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter what social media outlet you want to use. There are people everywhere who need your help, but it is your job to step out and take the initiative to create that account so you can find new people to help. Um, and Pinterest is another one. There are tons of people on Pinterest. And it's nice because you can see everyone's profile and you can easily follow those people and you can easily contact them, send them a message or comment on one of their posts or pictures that they are pinning or that they are posting as well. So it is not the end of the world if you do not have many social media's outlet. Most coaches do not use more than Facebook or just Instagram or may not have any when they're first starting their journey. But if you can do that, there's better chances of you having more success. Now, if you are looking at this business as just wanting to help a few people, you don't need social media if you don't want to. There is nothing wrong with talking to people, your friends and family, through text messages or through emails. And if you want to run a challenge group one day where you want to help people one-on-one -on -one with their fitness journey, you can run a challenge group just through texting people daily or through emails daily. So it is your preference. However you want to run your business, it's up to you. So I hope this helps. Please know that we do not start off as professionals on social media. 
There are tons of tools that have helped us. We have trainings also um, that we provide our team with, along with a lot of YouTube videos that we look at and get help ourselves and other trainings from the top team in the company. That is also um, what we are a part of. So I hope this helps. I hope you guys are learning and getting some great information and are finding this interesting. And I really hope that we see you someday on our team. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.